it's well past time for me to take you guys on a tour of my garden. So let's go. So for starters, I have a full perimeter-ish of pollinating flowers around the whole border of my garden. And then first walking in here, this is where my squash, my pumpkins, my melons are all growing. And then coming into here, this is my bush bean zone. So I got some purples, well technically burgundy, lawn beans, big kahunas, and then here's where I start getting into companion planting. So these are pole beans and corn. And next is what would have been my peas, but somebody has been coming out here and just ripping them straight out of the ground. Nope, 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 you stay out of the pea bed. Come here, come here, Jetty. This is my new puppy. I just rescued her three days ago. This is Jetty, by the way. And then there's more beans and corn over there. Tomatoes, peppers, cucumbers, more tomatoes. Uh, and these are hot peppers are over here. Sweet peppers are over there. And then coming into down here, kale, kale, some nasturtiums planted in there. There was garlic planted on the outside of here. That has already been harvested. Next, coming into down here. So these guilds were failures. These guys were supposed to be turnips, but turnips did not sprout. So yeah, that's why these three guilds are empty. They were all three failures. Rainbow chard, Swiss chard, strawberries, borage, beets, kohlrabi, beets, mammoth sunflowers. They are much, much taller than I am. More beets. This is where my chigoyas were planted. Medium top Detroits. Cabbage, cabbage, cabbage. Brussels sprouts and cabbage. <clears throat> uh, that's called cauliflower, broccoli, carrots, carrots, carrots that I've already harvested, carrots, carrots, carrots. And if you're curious on why there's spacing between my marigolds and my carrots, is because there was radishes harvest, uh, planted in here that have already been harvested and these are radishes that I'm letting dry for the seed. This guild failed, needs to be crimped and covered. That guild mostly failed purely just from they're the first ones that I put in the ground. Frost killed them off and I never replanted them. Celery, lettuce that is already bolted. Don't remember. So yeah, a little walkthrough of my garden and every single one of these guilds uh, don't just have the single key produce that is, you know, I mentioned like the carrots or the beets or uh, whatnot. Each of them do, do have one to two different kinds of flowers in them. Well, this guild here, my chigoyas, it's got geranium, catnip, and it had garlic all around the outside, but that has already all been harvested. And in between uh, the garlic, there are is sage that's right so as you can tell depending on which guild it is you can tell what produce i struggled with so with these guys the catnip did great the chigoyas did great but planted in between them the geraniums i didn't do very good letting those guys grow and if you come over here i have my marigolds with the beets in the herbs that were supposed to be interspersed between the garlic that was already harvested is sage. And I only got a couple of sage popping up in here. Same thing over here. There's some dill popping up. That's wild. But there's supposed to be a sage every other square foot. But as you can tell, didn't do a good enough job planting and harvesting along here on my borders. But as I'm coming through, I'm going to fill plant all of these guilds. For the fall for my herbs that will last the winter and that way next year all of my guilds will be solidified like my strawberry guild here with the, like with this borage and this uh what is this this is this is this is spinach and so the borage and the spinach 
these guys, since I let them go to seed, they will self-sow back into the ground with these strawberries. And the strawberries, I should not have to worry about the ground becoming toxic with them because the borage pulls the toxicity for the strawberries out of the ground and puts minerals that the strawberries need back into the ground. So yeah, combination of not planting enough, not planting heavy enough, not mulching heavy enough. Those were the two key problems that I ran into that caused me to fail depending on the guild. And when I say fail, I mean not get as much produce as I was hoping to. Next year, my yields should look thick like this for beets and my pollinators will be heavy in the middle as well. At the end of the day, the numbers that I was hoping to achieve, just weight and produce, I'm about 30% of what I was hoping to. But next year, with the hard lessons that I had to learn this year specifically, mulching and the timing of when I put my starts into the ground, I did some too er I did a lot too early and I got hit with the cold spot and really hot and a whole bunch of my stuff bolted on me. But I got a whole bunch of seeds for me to plant with next year. So that's a plus. But yeah, not mulching enough and timing and not understanding that half of my property gets shaded in the evening for a few hours and that affects those first guilds over there dramatically so i need to be more clever about what's planted over there leaning towards things that like cold, uh, more shady uh, like more shaded areas like lettuces and uh celeries and plants like that yeah love my garden this year but i did learn some hard lessons and that is just only two of my guilds performed exactly how i wanted them to and most of them, I, either f I failed in one way or another. Yeah. Hard lessons, good things to learn. But it's still beautiful and gives me happiness and way more food than I know what to do with. So, yeah. Happy gardening, people.